Jesus was born out of necessity. Its origin is lost, therefore we can call it primordial. We in India have a very long tradition of weaving. When the Greek historian Herodotus came to India, he was amazed to see cotton being woven and people wearing fabrics of wool, of silk and of cotton. Ajinta fresco shows that people were wearing patterned clothes which could be both printed or woven. Then, of course, we have the birds who were weaving much before man did. Our baskets resemble in some way the nests of a bird and the structure of the basket resembles that of the cloth that we wear. Namely, the radiating ribs of the basket is very similar to the warp of the cloth. And the other finer cane is akin to the weft of the cloth. This, of course, was done in the past. Now we have many different kinds of cloth. At one time, when weaving was, or when the cloth was a necessity, every household had a cherka to spin, wets to dye the cloth, and of course a loom, in which the young and old of the house participated. At that time, weaving was a necessity and not a vanity as it is today. Then, of course, with the coming of the Industrial Revolution and promotion of faster ways of doing things, we lost this activity completely. Then came Gandhiji. He saw this mischief and corrected it. He introduced to us the Khadi. Khadi of those days is very much different from what it is now. Today's khadi might not recognize the khadi that was worn by the dandy marchers. Of course, like all things, we undergo a change. Little by little, things come in for the machine use and faster ways of doing things with a lot of shortcuts and a lot of compromises. In works of art, there can be no compromise. Where there is compromise, Sooner or later, it affects the quality, and we start ending up with tinsels. Here, today, we are going to talk with a man who started in 1940s, somewhere in 40s, at Gurukul Kangri, where some of the nationalist movement had found its way. And later on, this man, Rajan, moved into School of Painting, where he developed another aspect. Then finally he ends up in the course of weaving. He did not know when he actually started weaving. He weaves cloth, he weaves wall hangings, screens, he weaves, he weaves pitch white, he weaves tapestry from miniatures of the past and many other places. He weaves traditional weaving as well as modern weaving. Today we will talk to him. So Rajan, you started your career as a student, of course, at Gurukul Kangri. Yeah, I, I started my career. When was education, that? Maybe around 42-43. Uh, I joined Gurukul Kangri, Haridwar, and uh, started my education from there. Gurukul, <coughs> those days, because of national movements, Gurukul was fully charged uh, and uh, aware as a, a center of such uh, movements uh, because Gurukul was started by Swami Shuddhananji, who was a great nationalist and a great man, great social, uh, social reformer also. So Gurukul, that was uh, the days Gurukul was had lots of spirit. Every student used to think that he is going to do something for the nation. So anyway, that was a very beautiful time. 
and uh, Gurukul, because of national movement, because of Gandhi's uh, everywhere, his name and his work, so uh, we were doing spinning also there. All students uh, were doing spinning, at least uh, uh, 40 minutes every college day, school day. Uh, and uh, we got an opportunity to learn uh, spinning and spinning became very um, sort of a craft which we enjoyed very much. And yeah. from spinning, I mean it's not only spinning, then there was uh, other moments like music. Pandit yeah. uh, Achari Buddhadev used to be Achari those days, heading the Gurukul. Uh, and he was a great, uh, great scholar of Vedas, Sanskrit Pandit. and. Uh, Mm. A person who just uh, sort of embodiment of well, lots of lots of uh, uh, arts, arts and music. But I mean, you also can talk and uh, uh, hold discourses in Sanskrit. Okay? I mean, of course, in Gurukul, uh, this uh, uh, in fifth, sixth standard only, students uh, were able to speak in Sanskrit. Mm. So those days, we, yes, we used to have sort of a um, breath that everybody. At least speaking in Sanskrit. So we were doing that. Rajan, after finishing, after finishing this period at Gurukul, you moved to some other place. Then finally you came <coughs> to JJ School of Art for painting. So all these things were preparation to weaving or you did not know that you were going to weave? No, I really did. I, I know that I, when I start thinking of my past, then I think that once I did spinning and which I enjoyed, enjoyed tremendously, actually I won the competition also once, spinning competition, Charkha oh. they used to call it. And uh, uh, after Sangal is a term applied to wrestling, doesn't <laughs> no, it? Yes, I mean those days such terms were used like that, Charkha Dangal, the spinning uh, competition. So, but later of my uh, college education, I came to JJ, I did my painting and uh, even then weaving was nowhere. After doing painting, uh, something uh, was to be done for the living. But yeah, after doing painting, you did mural, didn't you? Huh. Yes, I did mural also. And then I uh, went to Hindwood scheme, oh. UP government posted in Almora. So, uh, there are, there are was in between mid of weaving, uh, but of course not knowing weaving. Then who taught you weaving? Uh, um, I wasn't very effective as a, as a uh, designer there, but uh, then uh, necessity was felt uh, that I should learn weaving and I, I started starving to learn weaving. I was very, uh, very, very much willing to do something about weaving. weaving. And then I went to, uh, I was sent to uh, Indian Institute of Handloom Technology, Banaras, attached to Weaver Service Center. There I started learning weaving. And one Mr. A. K. Das was there. He had already written a book on weaving. So just uh, let you read that book? <laughs> no, I didn't read the book. Uh, I, I started a normal book, Watson's book, he took and oh, he started... It's a standard text. Standard book. textbook and he started uh, giving me this uh, grammar of weaving and I started working on loom. Rajan, grammar is very important, wouldn't you say? Yes. Uh, craft is very, very important to do, to, to, uh, to do any art. Uh, I, I saw once uh, Larson. Larson was Frank, Jack Leonard Larson is one of the... Uh, most known textile designers yes, from New York. Yes, he did the textiles for our Indian aircraft. This Indian Airlines, that seat upholstery cover is he done did. by Jack Larson. Aha, uh -huh, yes. So he, he, I saw him that a person of that caliber, he, he wanted some weavers to do something and they were not able to do. I saw it in Weaver Service Center in Bombay. So he sat on the loom and the way he was handling loom was so beautiful. Every, if a thread broke, he tied it so beautifully. I mean, the the, the way he was handling, uh, then only he could do so so much of uh, um, creative work later on. So yeah. so I I don't know. I mean, I had a good teacher. He inspired me, and I had enthusiasm to learn. So I. So you had well, first Mr. Das is a great teacher who yes, helped you. Yes. Who actually helped you learn? Actually, he taught me. Oh uh, uh, yeah. 
he taught you all the fundamentals. I think most important thing for any course is to know fundamentals. And I think uh, that we lack these days. We are too much in a hurry. I think I We I, I, try to pile up too many things in too short a time, too reluctantly, too half-heartedly, and therefore we, lo we end up with second-class products. I don't know, but I think with me also, uh, I, the five, six months I did work quite hard. Of course, I did work very, I don't say hard, but I enjoyed the work very much because... Uh, and How the, many hours did you work? I really worked uh, almost uh, 12 hours. Uh, no. And uh, the way he was putting the whole thing so simplified, systematic, yes. so it was easy for me and I was doing that. So that way um, I finished my um, grammar of weaving and then I, I became restless, I mean, just to do a few, uh, I mean, to new things. And then the career started from National Institute of Design I, um, to National Institute of Design. Yes. So when did you establish your studio? In which year did you establish That's your studio? In, uh, around 70. 70. So you started in 42 with some ideas of spinning. So until then it was a preparation. It was, yeah. So about 25 years of preparation before you actually plunged into weaving. So today, Rajan, you are weaving what? Cloth? Actually, my... Uh, or my is it some particular thing that you are weaving? Many varied things I am weaving. I am weaving simple cloth. Yes. I am weaving mm, sort of very crafty material also. I mean, mean crafty material? What I mean crafty material? You have got a very peculiar connotation on that word. <laughs> uh, um, right from the very beginning I learned weaving. Uh, complicated weaves very much interested me. Mm. I triple weave, double, yes. double weave. I used to try to make, try to do some paintings in weaving, and weaving is a very limited medium, only verticals and horizontals. Yes. So uh, you have, um, you don't have much of scope of uh, going from these verticals and horizontals. No, I think uh, discipline of step incline, I think, be between warp and weft, there is a step incline. Uh -huh. So that, of course, I think. Uh, Limitation are your good friends. Actually, they are not prohibiting I, you. I mean, they are asking you to use your skills even further. But now I think I realize it, that limitation yes. is good because my work is very simple now. Uh, after going, uh, I mean, what I mean that in the craft of, of weaving, I did try lino, double weave, triple weave. This is one of the examples, which is non woven bag. Uh, no, non-stitch bag. Sorry, uh, I no, yes, no right. stitching there. No, uh, non-stitch bag. So this only because uh, the weaving uh, as a craft I enjoyed very much. But uh, later on my work uh, mm, was very much influenced with the uh, Western work. Yes. I mean, uh, how, how, I mean, how would you say? I mean, I, mean ca, ca, I see a lot of inlay work done that is pure Jamdani. Uh -huh. Or there might be a certain amount of tapestry work from Goble, France. So where do you think uh, you score over others? I don't know whether I scored over others. No, let us say it, but, but I mean, we, let's examine it that but way. But basically, uh, I mean, I, as I told you that I am a painter. I mean, I, I did right. painting. And uh, uh, so I always wanted to do, come out of the regular weaving. So yes. first, uh, my earlier work was quite influenced from Western work, but later, uh, I saw this tree of life, uh, and not only um, the tree of life, but I saw a sort of a shadow of a tree on the wall, and I liked weaving that. I, I wove that, and then I realized it's nothing very new what I'm doing. Of course, m my source of inspiration was just quite new to me, or, or quite a... Uh, Rajan, I think you're always slow to discover yourself. So if you have discovered Tree of Life a little later, it doesn't matter. You have discovered yourself. <laughs> so Tree of Life was already uh, being done in uh, our Indian traditional yes, and operating all over so the world. So I mean, so I mean even when that uh, Bari at Amenabad, that stone, oh, yes, that, that is a Tree right. of Life. Uh -huh. That motif has been used it in It is there in, in temples also. It is there stadiums. in the mosque. It is mm. there in so many places. Tree of Life is there everywhere. It is a fertility symbol, isn't it? Yeah. 
Normally, only I mean, I mean they, they used to hang uh, this tree of life hangings in the bedrooms in the Mughal times. So I'm glad that you brought out this traditional thing because okay. everybody is so much carried away by the West so they, today that I feel today I might as well be living in London and I would be living in Bombay. So there is no fun. But apart from this tree of life, what else have you been doing? Do you weave gadda? Or do you weave masnad or takia or anything like that? That is totally ours. Uh, yes, I weave. You may not be weaving saris, but that doesn't matter to me. Anything Indian? Actually, uh, as far as my regular weaving works are concerned, I don't know whether they are Indian or uh, foreign influence, but uh, the, the, my artwork, which I have, uh, I'm doing for the last few years, is very much Indian. I thought after learning certain craft uh, like goble, uh, tapestry weaving, uh, I thought uh, why not be my own masters because this uh, this craft, this this art, uh, uh, goble or tapestry weaving in Europe uh, was used to weave uh, wall um, wall hangings, big, big wall hangings uh, or then they started. What is the biggest you have woven? Um, 60 feet by 30 feet, which I did for Priyavai Hall in Ahmedabad. Very good. Very good. But what else do you want to weave now? Because at, at present, uh, I don't know, I have woven some uh, Indian miniatures in the meanwhile. Yes. And, uh, you have woven some pichwais also. Pichwais also. Uh, quite recently I have done a few pichwais. I found uh, cows sort of uh, forms, true. so I played uh, those uh, forms and the uh, Rajan Rajan uh, what do you do with vegetable dyes ha ah, you see uh, as i told you that i was quite uh, uh, i am quite influenced with the with the tree of life and then i discovered tree of life is being painted in kalamkari and with vegetable dyes so i in my weaving i took those uh, forms in, yes. uh, and uh, the same type of effect I wanted to give in my weaving. Yes. So I, I switched on to vegetable dyeing and uh, um, Kalamkari has sort of a line yes. uh, to every form uh, with the dark or, or the black. So that also I tried to give my hangings when I call them Kalamkari, woman Kalamkari. Okay. So um, I took that also and my goblet weaving helped me sort of combining this tapestry weaving and uh, this jamdani weaving. Jamdani uh, is sort of extra weft weaving which uh, mm, is used in saris and in, in other fabrics to make the figures, forms. Much more articulate. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, to give the outline to that, I have taken uh, certain craft from But this is particularly yours. This is your particular contribution. I, I think it's, it's, it's not seen. Mm, I haven't seen uh, any anywhere else. Uh -huh. oh, you don't have to feel shy about what you're about scoring. And uh, the, the overhaul also double weft, I mean extra weft twice. Extra weft is used to, to do the forms, but I'm using twice. I mean sort of I'm combining goblin. I mean we Rajan, where do you score in terms of carpet? I have done some uh, sort of funny carpets. I mean or What do you uh, mean funny carpets? Uh, I mean I have quite played with the with the this medium. Uh, pile carpet, flosa carpet. Yes. I have, I have really You have woven I understand some leather carpets. I have done leather carpets, I have done uh, ribbon carpets. What would be other thing that you have woven that others have not woven? I have woven brick tiles, chips, and there's one house here in Bombay, Shreya's house. I have woven a wall hanging six feet by 24 feet. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, actually, the idea was initiated, initiated by you only, but uh, it was very, very challenging, uh, putting tiles into weaving and the small chips, my loom also broke twice, but I could do that and that I enjoyed. Uh, Rajan, I hope you continue to enjoy. 
grieving because we continue to enjoy your work. <laughs> okay? I think we will see that your exhibition is a success. Sometime we'll like to see it again. to which I have devoted my life. Pennsylvania, among the wild flowers and rhododendron, stands a work of art. It is the most famous.